We had kind of a weird stuttered start to the class, so for some of you this might be brand new. Bear with me. So we started with a couple of ball change drills in multiple directions. So I'm going to start with my way on my right, and I'm simply going to collect and transfer, collect and transfer, collect and transfer, collect and transfer, which we then apply values to. I'm going to go the other way. And we said hold ball change, hold ball change, hold ball change, hold ball change. We then applied that to the forward and back directions. Just to make it look representative of our two roles, we started with, oh, well, we started with follow, we'll go with these first. Um, so I've got my right foot in back, and I'm going to ball change, traveling backwards. Ball change, noting that my feet are passing, not collecting, because that's not as comfortable. Now I'm going with the follow footwork. You can either begin with your foot behind, I prefer to have it in front, because that's what we would typically do. And I'm going to ball change, ball change, ball change, ball change. Yes? Um, from there, we also talk about pulsing actions. So thinking of sending the hips back as the knees straighten so that my height is not significantly changed as opposed to emphasizing the knee bend, which would be a different dance, right? This is a character of other dances, not necessarily ours. You can then think of that pulse occurring within these ball changes. So if we're going on the leader's direction, I can pulse ball change. Pulse ball change. Pulse ball change. Whereas a follow, pulse ball change. Pulse ball change. Pulse ball change. Yeah? Uh, applying that to now kick ball changes, we did as a box drill. So we started uh, leaders foot in front left. So I'm going to kick ball change, take a side step. We're going to kick ball change going forward. Kick ball change, transfer weight. Kick, ball change, transfer weight, and kick, ball change, going sideways. It's hard to mirror. I already, I already. It's hard to mirror. So I'll try to switch. Kick, ball change, transfer left. Kick, right, ball change, transfer right. And kick, ball change, transfer left. Kick, ball change, transfer right. Feeling out both pulses and kicks in partnership. We talked about holding on to that bit of reserve, the idea that conceptually I'm delaying what I would normally find on six until one, yeah? But first, just finding that feeling of how do we access that reserve? How do I hold the reserve first? Which usually has to do with foot articulation. My heel is gonna stay elevated just a little longer. The connection point isn't moving towards either of us. We are pulsing away from it. We could then think kicks instead, Kick, ball, change. Eventually these can go infinite, we're not going to do that today. We laid it on top of our basic framework of sugar and right side. So we did a sugar, two, three, and four, five, and six, pulse, ball, change, trip, ball, step. Now we're going to do the kick, three, and four, five, and six, kick, ball, change, triple, and then bearing in mind that our footwork is not symmetrical, so if Maggie was a follow who understood the swung rhythm in what we were dancing to and I just know basics, there's no harm in that. We are still totally connected. And it's something that she can choose to express on her own, and vice versa. If my follow is someone who knows basic rhythms and I'm more comfortable with swung rhythms, there's nothing wrong with me applying that. Even if my partner is not. Yeah? So it's simultaneously something that can be embellished and then also clearly partnered. Yeah? Cool. Thank you so much for coming out and sticking with it. Okay.